you were on Shark Tank at some point. We, we were just really recently, just recently actually, yeah. a few okay. months ago. So okay. by the time yeah. you had gotten to Shark Tank, yeah. how much total had you raised? Was it still at the 900000 or had it been? No, no. Okay. We, we had raised a seed round of funding with VCs. So okay. we had raised an additional $2 million at that okay. point. Because mm-hmm. when you went on Shark Tank, I believe you asked 600000 for 4% originally. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then... You ended up getting a deal with Robert mm-hmm. at the end of it, and he cut that evaluation in half yeah. and, and went to 600 for 8%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In my research in what happens, because we, we know from having other people on this show from Shark Tank, deals can often completely like fall apart yeah. after the show. Yeah. Uh, things can happen where you know both parties are just going to have to walk away amicably. Like, yeah. what, can you talk about that, like where you're at right now? Because I couldn't find whether the deal had actually closed after the show or right. not. Right, right. The deal did not close. Because okay. um, we, the thing is, is that it like you tape and then it's, they, they want to do their diligence for so long. They want it because it's like they want to know whether you're going to air. It just ended up not, the timing didn't work out because we were ready shortly after that because we just kept growing with well before the airing. Yeah. Um, and I would so, imagine with the Whole Foods deal, which you probably knew of when you went on. No, because the Whole Foods deal, I taped this in August 2020. Wow. Okay. Because okay. It, it was almost a year before it aired. So, wow. so much, so much happened. So, like, this yeah. is August 2020 that we, or it was like ju- end of July. It was so late so early and then um the next few months we just grew so much that i was like i i need to go raise around and they were not willing to budge and they we hadn't moved at all on the negotiations and i was like i'm not going to like oh, anchor myself to yeah. this valuation when like we were so much larger than that's a good story i mean this is a reality um, yeah. here yeah, you this, are having yeah. to raise capital and you have a deal on some different terms than you're yeah. about to raise and, and and their typical model is they want to kind of really make sure that you're going to air i right. think is something that's a huge part of whether they're going to go through with it and you know you don't know until a few weeks before whether your episode airs you know so i remember we had just taken it out of the forecast because we had kind of had like a little shark tank bump and we were like because i think it was there's only a few <laughs> weeks left of the season so i was like it's time for us to they're like you're going to be on the season finale so we were like okay so we actually will air um after all so it's been that that was that was a wonderful like nice to have for sure so you did have time then to prepare for the inevitable shark tank bump right yeah after the airing yeah and and what did you see in that was it sizable was it more than you expected less than you expected it was a little more than we expected i think also what was interesting for us is that we sell predominantly on our our own website but i think that what was really interesting to see was that we we saw like a really big bump on amazon because we amazon's like Mm -hmm. typically like 10 percent of our e-commerce revenue and I think it was just, it just shows you that it's like that kind of purchaser who's like literally buying as the segment is running, you yeah. know, is like that kind of person. And that's like someone who's just going to like sign on to Amazon. 